the defendant was anybody other than Donald Trump, this stale case would not be being brought right now. Uh, he has definitely been targeted. Uh, four cases against a single defendant uh, is almost unheard of. There is no question that these prosecutors are trying to make a name for themselves. Uh, each of them wants to be governor or president or both at some point. They want to be known as the person uh, that took down Donald Trump. I mean, you have Fannie Willis who stands up in a church in Atlanta and claims that she's, quote, trying to save the world, close quote. What, what is this, a Marvel movie? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, ludicru it's ludicrous. It is absolutely ludicrous. And the fact that so many people on the left are okay with this because, of the, def because the defendant is Donald Trump uh, really makes me sick to my stomach. I believe in, in justice. I believe in due process. Look, I don't believe uh, the same way that Donald Trump does on 95% of the issues or more. I have a significant problem with a number of the things that he does and he says. However, he is entitled to due process. He is entitled to defend himself. He is entitled to uh, the same protections that other criminal defendants receive. And he's not getting that right now. This situation relating to the gag order and what Judge Mershon has done in New York is outrageous. Judge Bershon and these prosecutors basically want Trump to show up in the courtroom uh, and act as a, as a prop, act as a potted plant. You sit there and shut up, and we'll let you know when you can talk. That's not how the system works. And what's really going on here is, is that the government is used to controlling the media and the press, leaking information before trials, convicting people in the press before they ultimately get uh, a trial. And now all of a sudden they've got a guy who's one hell of a communicator with a huge platform and they don't like it. What's, what's compelling me to come forward right now is, is that I've learned a lot over the last five to six years. You know, I've been ground through the system. I know what it's like when the government comes for you, regardless of how smart you are or what your resources are. You have little to no hope of prevailing even if you're a former president of the United States. And I think what is happening to Trump right now is wrong and it's outrageous. And that is far superior to me and far more important to me than whether I agree with somebody about political views or not or whether they're a Republican or Democrat. And that's why I've come forward now.